Welcome to the Primero Support Hub. If you are an end user, a technical team coordinator, or a developer, you have come to the right place if you are looking for support on Primero as a platform, CPIMS Plus, or GBV IMS Plus. If you are interested in demoing the system, click Try in the top right-hand corner of the screen. A pop-up will appear with a link to the demo instance. To access the system, you are required to log in. In the pop-up, we have provided you with a demo user, which you can use to log in. Once logged in, you can try out the system for yourself. In the top right-hand corner of the screen, you can also select which module you are looking for support on. Once you select the module, the content will update dynamically for CPIMS Plus and GBV IMS Plus. The announcements section lists the most recent news on Primero, CPIMS Plus, and GBV IMS Plus. Depending on your role, you can select the type of support you are looking for by clicking on one of these buttons to guide you through this website. You will also see the most popular discussion topics from our support community listed here. We have included links of all the Primero resources for you to explore at the bottom of the screen. The navigation at the top of the screen will help you access additional information on releases, documentation, and support. If I select the Releases tab, here I will see the most up-to-date roadmap for Primero, as well as the release notes from all of the most recent releases. In the Documentation tab, you can see User Guides and Administration Guides, which you can filter by their version by selecting the toggle here. Once you select the version you are looking for and press play, the information will update and you can find the most recent user guides, developer guides, or operations guides for that version. In the support tab, you can search for a topic you require support on or view the most recent topics. You can also click see all to see the community board or Alternatively, you can go straight to the community by selecting it in the navigation. But before we switch to the community, you do need a login. In the right-hand corner of the screen, you can see that I am not logged in and I can select a button to log in. If you're a system administrator, you will be provided with a login and those credentials will be entered in here. This allows the Primero team to track any tickets or topics raised by system administrators quite easily, especially in the community boards. Once I select Login, it will redirect me to a page like this. Here, you can log in with your email and the password that will be provided to you. Or you can also log in with GitHub, which I will do for this demonstration. Once logged in, I can easily navigate to the community board. You'll see that we are now getting redirected to a page that is different. The URL is now community.primero.org. I now also have single sign-on and I can see that I am authenticated and have my profile in the right-hand corner of the screen. The community boards are where we have created conversations on topics to help you troubleshoot Primero. We ask that all Primero tickets or bugs are requested to be entered here. You can filter the content by its category by selecting it here. We also have different tags for all of the topics, which you can sort here. Or alternatively, you can search for a topic by selecting the search button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once you search for a category, all topics related to your keyword will appear. So for example, if I say mobile sync and press enter, I will now see a list of different topics dealing with the mobile synchronization. If you're unable to find what you're looking for, you can create a new topic by selecting the plus new topic button. You'll be required to enter a topic title in this case, I'm just going to say testing a support ticket for the support hub.
you'll have to select a category as well as the version that you need support with for this implementation. Then you need to add a thorough description on what the issue is. You'll see on the right hand side of the screen, the system will prompt you to show you other similar topics to the one that you've entered in here. If none of the topics that appear in the blue section pertain to what you are looking for, you can press the X to exit out. The right hand side of the screen is just a preview of your topic. Once everything looks good and is represented clearly, you can press the plus create topic button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Once it's been created, you can edit it at any time by selecting the pencil icon. You can also share this issue, flag this issue, or bookmark this issue at the bottom of the ticket. Note that as soon as a ticket is raised, all the developers that are currently signed up on the support hub will all get notified. We will triage and respond quite quickly to these tickets that are raised here. If this issue includes any sort of personal identifiable information, you will be requested not to put the details of that information into the support hub since it is very much visible to all of the different system administrators. In that case, you will have to create a help desk request. You will be redirected to a JIRA page, and this is something that is private. You'll come to a screen that looks like this once you click on that Create Help Desk topic. Again, this is only for information where there is personally identifiable information. You will be then putting in a bug, which is the issue type, and then filling out the information to clearly explain what implementation the issue is for, what country this is happening in, the version that this is happening in, as well as including a summary of the issue and a description. You can also add any attachments and then press create. Once created, all of the developers linked to the support hub will get notified of your ticket. You will also get an email notification once the ticket has been created. And as well as when any feedback is provided to you, you will also receive email for follow-up. All system administrators are added to the support hub and will be oriented on the support hub to ensure they know how to resolve issues when they are raised by users.